Students from Protect AFAM have been protesting on the campus of Seton Hall since Wednesday, May 3rd. The protests are in response to Dr. Kelly Harris resigning from Seton Hall last fall. Dr. Harris was the only full-time Africana Studies professor and faculty director at the university. Harris was hired by Seton Hall in August of 2019, but was forced to resign due to contract disputes. We're protesting the lack of acknowledgement that the Africana Studies program is on a steady decline. We lost our only full-time professor and program director, Dr. Kelly Harris, who came here after the Concern 44 was advocating for the program just in 2018. That's only four years ago. That man was underpaid, he was not appreciated, and so ultimately he had to leave the university. Students had a sit-in at Presence Hall where Dr. Nair and other administrators' offices are located. They have since protested outside the campus at the South Orange Avenue Gate and the Ward Avenue Gate. One of the old hymns that they sung as the slaves were dealing with issues, we shall not be moved. We shall not be moved. We shall not be moved by the trees that planted by the rivers of waters. We shall not be moved. Stand for what you believe in. The students are not alone as they have received support from those not in the Africana Studies program and members of the surrounding Seton Hall community. Leaders from the Protect AFAM movement are appreciative of those who stand in solidarity. I think being in solidarity with the students was um, the most beautiful thing to understand that our voices are powerful, that even though they're trying to shut us out and they're trying to get us to evacuate the premises, that we are standing 10 toes down and that we are, you know, standing firm in our convictions. Student voices are powerful, that uh, solidarity is powerful. I can assure you most of these people are not AFAM majors or maybe never come in contact with the program but they're here unified to help protect the importance of black history. For those students, it's about protecting their history, their culture, their identity. Having an Africana Studies program means that I can learn about my own history, a history that was erased, a history that was whitewashed, a history that is currently being whitewashed even on this campus. We asked the university for comment regarding the situation and this is what they said in response. This is a constantly developing story Stay tuned to WSU News for more coverage.